so when you can answer in easy uh, you can answer it easily don't go for complicated answers so this is all about dobirina's triads they were not of much use now uh, the next person who gave his own theory of classification of elements and who was definitely better than dobirinner because he classified more than just 3339 elements he was newlands so newlands he classified elements from hydrogen to thorium thorium is the 56th element don't need to memorize all this hydrogen is the first element so he or uh, better on the safer side you just memorize it was from hydrogen to, to thorium and it consti consisted of 56 elements because you never know what might be asked in an examination so what he did was that he wrote the elements from suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then after 7 8 he wrote down below 1 these are the elements first element second element third element fourth element fifth element so after 7 he wrote down 8 over here and then he continued like that 8 9 10 11 12 13 oh sorry 14 14 then 15 over here so what he did was basically repeat the cycle after seven elements and what he found out was this 1 8 15 these elements showed similar properties and similarly 2 9 16 3 10 17 all these also showed similar properties so he gave his own law which is known as the newlands law of octaves you know what octaves are octaves they are the musical notes they are nothing but musical notes if you have heard in hindi they are like sa re ga ma pa dha ni and in english they are do re mi fa sol la ti so why he called it octaves because octaves also contain contain seven notes and after seven notes again the first note comes like you have sa re ga ma pa dha ni and then again sa comes so just like that in the newlands law or in the newlands classification he repeated the eighth element after each seven elements after seven elements he repeated the eighth element so that was newlands law of octaves so if they ask you what's newlands law of octaves Uh, or the definition of it you can write that newlands law, uh, law of octave is related to the classification of elements such that after each eight elements
the elements show similar properties similar physical or chemical properties you can modify this definition and write of course just a crude definition so what he did was he placed hydrogen then there was lithium then there was beryllium then boron then carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine potassium calcium chromium titanium manganese iron and then what he did was he put cobalt and nickel in the same place so he just tried tried to adjust the cobalt and nickel because they shared similar properties into hydrogen fluorine chlorine uh, the that group then he had copper zinc ytterium indium and then so on you don't need to memorize so many things but the thing was that lithium sodium calcium these all shared similar properties so similarly beryllium magnesium uh, sorry this was potassium uh, potassium so beryllium magnesium calcium they showed similar properties so this was another way of classification of elements and he went up till thorium which is the 56th element and so this was another way of classification but this also had its disadvantages now what were the disadvantages the disadvantage was this had many disadvantages although it was a good attempt for classification but poor newland <laughs> so the first disadvantage was that it was valid only up to calcium no after this thing i mean after calcium the pattern did not repeat itself i mean he tried to place the eighth element after after each ele eight elements the elements did not show similar properties they showed similar properties only up till calcium and that was the point till which the law was valid so all these cobalt nickel copper these did not show similar properties as their other group members let me write that uh, thing again because i'll be needing it again and again 